everyone, welcome to the T4 Show here on YouTube. In this screencast, we're going to continue our series on how a podcast is put together. And one of the most essential tools for that is the application right in front of me, Audio Hijack Pro. Audio Hijack Pro is a, uh, a sort of a do-it-all sound recording uh, utility studio where you could basically record all sounds from all different applications or audio devices or anything from this microphone to internet radio, which is pretty cool. So, uh, but the basic uses we'll go through and then we'll go through what people use on their podcasts. So as you can see here, there's a, a side panel that actually has recording bin, quick record. Uh, recording bin's pretty straightforward. Quick record is actually, you can pick an application, audio device, AM, FM radio. That's what I was talking about where you can record radio. Um, not internet radio, that's celestial radio. So uh, it's done a little bit differently, I think, with an antenna. I haven't tried that yet. And then system audio. So, uh, but I don't really use that a whole lot. And, uh, it's just a main panel, as you can see. It has effects and stuff like that. But we'll go into the applications that I use, and you'll see the way it's streamlined uh, that way. So, you go down here. We have DVD players. Now, if you're playing a DVD movie and you want some sound off of that, like a soundtrack song or famous line, you can always record that too. So, it's kind of cool. Firefox, if you're on YouTube and you really want to record audio of a great song that's a music video, you can take the song like that and, and uh, get some free music. Of course, we do not condone that here at the T4 Show. iChat, and iChat is just what I was, I'm going to describe as sort of like what I know is the number two way to conduct interviews and conversations uh, on a podcast. Uh, we do not use that here at the T4 Show. We use another application where we'll get to last. iTunes, pretty self-explanatory, anything in your iTunes library, you can record through Audio Hijack Pro. QuickTime Player, same thing. Safari, same as Firefox, any sound files through Safari. And this application. This is the application that all podcasters that I know use to conduct their interviews, conversations, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Mobility Today uses it, Cell Phone Junkie uses it, I use it, and mostly every podcaster out there uses it. Now, whether they have Skype or the people I interview or have conversations with have a landline or cell phone, I can use Audio Hijack Pro to, to record those conversations. So how I do that, it's a two-step process. First step is obviously part of the title, Audio Hijack Pro. So I have to hijack the audio. So you have the hijack button here. As you can see, hijack is off. I have to press hijack. When I press it, launch is Skype. Now, if Skype is already launched, it'll give me a prompt to quit and relaunch Skype. So it'll automatically do that for me as long as I press hijack and then quit the quit and relaunch choice for Skype. So now that I've had you hijack the audio, over here you have record. Now I'm going to do a Skype test call and then I'll press record first and then we'll go through it. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Testing here on YouTube for the T4 show. Okay, I've recorded that. Now I'll click record to shut it off. Go back to recording bin. I have two recordings. I did a take last time, which didn't turn out so well. So as you can tell, right around the 17 second mark where I was recording, I'll double click this second file. <laughs> Very loud. Hello, welcome to Skype Call Testing Service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Testing here on YouTube for the T4 show. Now, there's a little bit of an echo, obviously, because it's coming through my speakers and coming through my headphones. So uh, the sound quality is actually really good as long as it's not doubled up and echoing like that. So that's it. And I have a bunch of choices I can do with this. I can go into preview mode. And says so start or stop playback and select the file. Same thing as double clicking. I can reveal, I can actually reveal it in the finder. I can go into an editor. Now, this is pretty cool because I can actually pick the audio editor that I want. I could actually go hand in hand with something like Wiretap Studio, which I use uh, for my solo recordings. And it'd be cool because uh, with, audio, with uh, Wiretap Studio, and I'll do a screencast on that at a later date, you can actually export it on the fly, whether you want an MP3, an AAC, an AIFF, uh, whatever uh, sound quality, if you want 128, 64, 72, 80, 
So it's pretty cool and actually could, could set this up as the default editor and then I can convert it right from there. So that's pretty cool. I can put this right into iTunes. I can burn it through a DVD. And obviously there's the Apple scripts here, add to iPod, add to iTunes is bookmarkable, add to iTunes library, and the list goes on and on. You can make up your own script too. I don't really touch that. Uh, I just keep everything on defaults. I love defaults. So here's trash. Obviously you can remove from the bin or move all of these to the trash if you choose to. So we're gonna go back down here though. Uh, with the Skype, why you, know, you have all these options. You have, obviously have the inputs already set. Uh, there's no schedule that's really needed for Skype. That's more, I use that more for the internet streaming radio to record radio shows online, and that's really a cool feature. Uh, recording, now here we go. There's different kinds of formats that you can uh, apply this. Obviously, I have it set to AAC 128 uh, kilobits per second in stereo, but you can, all these, for spoken word, recording from DVDs, and the list goes on and on. Or you can customize it any way you want. So that's pretty cool. Then you can save the recordings anywhere you want. I save it to the desktop. You can name the recordings uh, a certain value. I just leave it as it is. And when finished, here you go again. You have the scripts. So that's pretty cool right there as well. I, I say that all the time about the applications like this, but they really do think of everything. They're really very... Uh, uh, they, they have the ability to be customized and they're very easy to use at the same time. So, and there you have a limit. Start a new file every whatever. Stop recording after however long. If you really want to set a limit to your podcast, you can set it to 30 minutes or an hour. I choose not to do that. I'd rather edit afterwards. And then also you have the silence monitor. Uh, I keep it off because I have that plugged into my microphone. So I don't need to really touch that. So, so Audio Hijack Pro. Uh, it's actually, uh, I, oh man, I forgot about the, <laughs> I should look up the price, shouldn't I? That would be awesome. Let's take a look at the price together. It's been so long since I bought it. Buy. There you go. Audio Hijack Pro, $32. And I think there's actually a competitive upgrade if you want to go from Wiretap Studio. But right there, Audio Hijack Pro, $32. Audio Hijack Pro Family Pack, $59. That's for up to five members of your household. That's a great deal. Family packs are also for single family households only. And then you can bundle up and save. Audio Hijack Pro and Fission Bundle for 50 bucks. That's a single user license. And you have a completely free... Uh, trial if you'd like to use that. I don't know how long that's for. Uh, I think it's for 30 days. So right there. Uh, next time I'll do my research and see how much it is. I haven't bought this uh, application in quite some time. Audio Hijack Pro from Rogue Amoeba, $32 or buy the family pack or the, the Pro Plus Fission bundle, whichever you choose. This is Michael Manner for the T4 Show. Thank you and best of luck in all your future endeavors.